Welcome back to another video guys. This is incredible right here. I, I just had to show you this. Uh, obviously I have these, the dummy unit for the Galaxy Note 10 and this is the smaller variant. This is incredible how small uh, this phone is uh, by, by just having a full screen. Now these are both dummy units, but you can see here, you remember the Note 9 has a top and a bottom bezel that's not even really that big. Uh, but the fact that Samsung was able to squeeze this little make a note with full screen, a smaller version, I'm happy that they did. I remember talking about them making a small version and a big version. You know, I was hoping for that a while back. And a lot of people said, ah, Jay, that's, you shouldn't do that. Or they shouldn't do that. That's horrible. But this is, a, 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 Samsung is on to something because having a smaller form factor for the Galaxy Note 10 uh, is something that I think a lot of people might have wanted. I mean, look at how small this is in comparison to the Galaxy Note 9. They pretty much chopped off the entire top part of the phone, and then they're probably going to give you better cameras. Let's hope that they do. <laughs> but uh, I got to tell you, this is amazing to see in hand how small this actually is. Now, yes, it's unfortunate that they took away the headphone jack, and then they just moved the microphone on this side here, uh, but it's a part of the game. This is what Samsung's choosing to do, so what can you do? And if you notice here on this side, there's nothing. They put all the buttons on this side, so you've got a volume and a power button over there. No Bixby button, which is a huge plus to me. Uh, and then you've got some proximity sensors and things up here. No one knows, some people are saying this is an IR blaster on top. We don't know until we get the phone. For sure though, there's a microphone up here. But this video is about the size. And another thing is the speaker grill. They pretty much moved the speaker grill to the top of the device up here. So that, that little slit up there, which is really, really nice. It would have been nice if they had done that at the bottom too and give it front facing speakers. That would have been sweet. But the size of this thing is incredible. It's narrower, small, just a smaller phone all around. And to give you some comparison, some idea, let me grab my iPhone 10 just to show you here. Look at this. It's just a little bit bigger than the iPhone 10 and it has a little bit bigger screen too. Um, but uh, let's see here, what do we got? Pixel 3a XL. That's crazy. Let me see got a Pixel 3. It's this is almost it's just a little bit bigger than the Pixel 3. This is crazy, man. This, Samsung has done a great job at giving a compressed, a compact, compressed size on the smaller Note. And I think they're gonna sell a heck of a lot more of these uh, than they probably think they're going to. Um, this is just incredible. And I had to give you a quick, brief video on this, man. This is just, it's unbelievable how small this is. So when the phone officially releases, depending on when you're watching this, the phone's either out or it's not out yet. Uh, the recording of this video, the phone is not out, uh, and I'm going to publish this before the release date of the device, but wow, 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 that is incredible. Look how much they trimmed off to make it that much better. And I, I know this is a 6.4 inch, and this is supposed to be a 6.3, I believe, but still, this is going to be all screen, and this is the small version. This is incredible, man. This is incredible. I'm blown away. Anyway, just want to do a quick video, man, get this out to you. This is incredible how small this phone is, man. I'm, I'm digging this. I'm probably going to get the big one, but still, you know, this is something to be desired by a lot of people because it's going to be full screen. So, you know, no, no top and bottom bezels pretty much. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting to see how they do it. It is a curved display, uh, you know, so they, they didn't get away from that. Uh, but this size is actually really sweet, man. I'm really loving Let me just grab one more. My, my biggest Samsung phone right here. Now, this phone right here should be the size of the big Galaxy Note. This is a 6.7 inch display. It's pretty much all screen. And this is what the size of the Galaxy Note 10, the big one, should be like. like it's just a little bit taller than the Galaxy Note 9, just by a smidgen. Um, but this is interesting. I'm totally engaged with the Galaxy Note like I've always been. Uh, and I just feel like Samsung is going to hit this one out the park. This, this is going to be incredible in order to... To, to, to get that type of size in there and rock with the full screen, this is going to be great, folks. So, anyway, man, um, 
It's your man Jay. I had to show you this. Uh, it's just, it's inevitable that Samsung chopped off the, the edges first and they did something. They, they pretty much um, are first to the market with a lot of things and they take more risks than a lot of companies do. Uh, but with that risk comes some troubles at times. So, you know, it happens. But with this, this is going to be a killer size. And I think they're, in, they're intending on selling a boatload of these smaller ones. Uh, no matter who you are, this is a good size. Anyways, man, Jay, size comparison with the Galaxy Note 9 and the Galaxy Note 10. What do you guys think, man? Would you buy the small one or are you going to stick with the 6.8 inch version? I'm out.